everyone and welcome to this week's video. I thought today I'd love to talk about all our beautiful reborn babies and the huge selection that we offer you as the customer. York flagship store we have over 500 dolls in this one store alone ranging from just 15 pounds up to well shall we say seven and a half thousand pounds at the moment for some very specialist antique dolls that we also specialize in here i thought i'd talk to you a little bit about all the different ranges and the price variations because a lot of you messages saying what's the difference in the price what shall i get for my daughter as a starter reborn she's five or six years of age or I've been a collector a long time, I'm looking for something very, very special. So I thought I'd talk about all the different ranges that we do here and the different reasons in the price variation that we offer you. So we really do cater for all of you children, collectors, young and old, and can offer you something really beautiful to play with or for your collection. We've been making the Stevie and Sophia range now for many years and I have to say she's still one of the very prettiest babies that we probably do in our collection she really appeals to everyone and we do a lot with Sophia we do painted hair we do rooted hair we do different eye colors so if there's something that you would love us to custom make you why don't you send us a message or you can add it on the message box if you order on our wonderful website at maryshortle.com. This one is a little bit different. We offer in our catalogue Ash Blonde and Brunette because they seem to be the two most popular ones at the moment, but we are introducing a lot more with the auburn hair, which is becoming really, really popular. This Sophia, she has the auburn rooted hair along with the lovely green eyes. So we do a lot with the Ash Blonde Blue and we also do a beautiful brown eyed brown haired but the red haired babies are really popular I think the warmth of the hair just highlights the colouring and the hand painting beautifully Sophia is an 18 inch baby she's roughly three pounds in weight she has full vinyl arms and legs so great for dressing in summer outfits and you can have her in a range of clothing so if you want her in a dress and a headband and some frilly socks the summer season's coming up that's fine or if you'd love in a baby grow a little bit like this one a little bonnet and a frilly bib then it's entirely up to you we love to work with you so it's like customizing and creating a mini me here at mary shortles which we're more than happy to do no two are ever exactly the same each one of our artists totally hand paints them from the blank sculpts gives that all that little individual identity and great personality so this is the auburn away this beauty would be a brunette asleep so she's also lovely she's very very popular this is a really adorable little face absolutely beautiful a lot of people message us saying oh, just looks like my baby my little girl when she was a baby so a lot of people see their own children in a lot of the rebonds that we have here that's our starter range and like i say you can have it just as you want with the hair color and the eye color and as you would like it dressing don't forget the dolls on our website the way they're dressed they're just examples so we we try and do them as close to the pictures as possible but we understand that obviously um, with the season slight variations take place and we dress them appropriately to work with what what you or your little one would absolutely love to play with or have in the collection.
collection. So that's the Sophia and Stevie range. So it is the same baby, just dressed as a boy or a girl. Moving on, we do absolutely so, we do probably, I would say, over 200 different sculpts, which is a facial expression. Now, this is Josiane, and Josiane is a newborn size baby, so she's slightly larger at 20 inches, and she fits the newborn size clothing. This Josiane has lovely quite finely rooted this one with the blonde mohair we always put a slightly darker lash on just so it really sort of stands out and creates a little bit more emphasis on the eye area and she's dressed in a beautiful this is a handmade dress it's hand crocheted with a lovely lace finish skirt she retails at 350 pounds we've really got all ranges so the sophia's were like 159 asleep 169 awake Josiane is 350 every baby is really special to me here because at the end of the day I do all the buying for the Mary Shortle stores myself. So it's important that I choose a variety of sculpts and thinking about what the customers love to see and also creating lots of different images. Just variation, really. I think it's great to offer you choice. I know a lot of you come into the store and say, oh my goodness, it's so overwhelming. Where do I start? Which baby do I choose? But I think even when you look around now on the camera, you'll actually see the baby that probably stands out to you and you can comment below if there's a baby in this audience that you want to ask about then just message below and we'll be happy to answer your question if there's one that peeks out at you one of my favorite babies is probably this little girl and she is an extremely popular baby and i think the reason that she's so popular is she's just very very sweet and she's a happy baby baby so again she's a little bit bigger again i sort of class her like a baby sort of a baby stroke toddler she's 22 inches her name is lisa i think we also have her as lisa marie on the website with the brunette hair isn't she adorable she's lovely isn't she i don't take any notice of that price i think she's actually wearing somebody else's hair bow there lisa is 245 pounds and again she's really lovely before i said i'd talk to you about the difference in the price so you'd be thinking, well, why is Sophia 159 if Lisa's 245? And the reason for that is with the Sophia sculpts, they are done by in-house sculptors. So the factory in-house sculptor. So they don't have an artist name put to them. They just have a sculpt name. As well with Lisa, not only is she a lot, lot softer skin, so she's got a lot more softer vinyl and a lot more movement in her she's also by a very famous artist called linda shearer now i'm a really big fan of linda's work and we've been probably making her sculpts for the last 10 years dolls that we carry on each year in the collection that we know are just going to be so so popular and then we also love working with um, another german artist called elisa marx and her babies are also very very attractive let's see who i can spot this is actually the ivy sculpt and this is an elisa mark sculpt and elisa's mark sculpt are quite young so they always remind me of a really young quite a newborn baby isn't that cute all snuggle up there and really really scrunched up and cuddly so this one comes in at 19 inches with the brunette rooted hair and the brunette rooted eyelashes can you see how the painting all varies on each of the dolls try and get it close to the camera because i am filming on my own here and it's quite late at night but i thought oh i can't let you down i've got to do a video this week so i'll hop down on my own of course and i'll try and do some filming of myself which is actually quite challenging normally i have tj behind the camera and he's really good at filming so this is the ivy skull but we do a boy or a girl version of each sculpt so we call this one Ivan we try and keep the same initials for the boy and girl name and then I thought I'd like to show you one of our premature babies so we do babies of all sizes this one has the painted hair 
Now, a few years ago, painted hair wasn't really that popular and everybody said, oh no, I want my baby to have hair. I won't be able to style it the same. It doesn't have the same texture. But to be fair now, I think we sell 50-50. We probably sell 50% with the painted hair because when you look really closely and you really tell that it's not there that it's not rooted hair i think it's so well done so i have a really fantastic team of artists that work with me and paint to their heart's content and create the most beautiful craftsmanship here and we're really proud of everything that we produce here in our nurseries so we're really beautiful this is very finely painted it has some nice skin detail little rosy cheeks and lips there and look at those eyelashes they're so perfect and the little manicures this one's really premature so it has quite little spindly legs it, i think it weighs around two and a half pounds so it's a lovely lovely size and great for a younger child as well my little girl's got this one she absolutely loves it she carries it around everywhere it's not too heavy for her so it's like a bag of sugar really and yeah we dress and change and years ago there wasn't really the premature clothing that was so available but now it's amazing the range this is like a three pound birth weight clothing that she's wearing most of our reborn so 90 percent, i would say do take a magnetic dummy we do insert the magnet so you can have the magnetic dummy if they don't have the magnetic dummy then that's because the mouth's quite open and they would tend to take a pushing dummy or an adapted real dummy there is a dummy out there that really does fit every single doll it's just what you're happy with and a lot of people love to think it has the magnetic dummy because it fits nice and closely to the mouth so it does it looks more natural so that's a little premature this one's sweet dreams and she retails at 275 we actually do twin boy and girl sweet dreams and if you buy the pair there's an amazing deal on our website for both of those so that one's really sweet moving up a little bit we do a collection which is our premier collection and our premier collection is super real so it's a life weight collection so this baby weighs around probably about six and a half pounds literally and um, all the hand painted detail but a lot more layers of painting capillaries veining an amazing detail there so it looks quite real so the collectors tend to love the realism and with the children it can be a mixed reaction so some of the children are like wow i want it to be like a real baby everybody stops me when i'm carrying my doll and then others are like oh no i want that sort of in between i want it to look real but still be a little bit more dolly some of these sculpts that we use for the premier collection we only make two or three pieces of the kits are limited editions and sell out very quickly by by very world renowned artists so absolutely beautiful these sort of retail from 350 upwards so this little one is selling for 500 we really do cater for every single pocket we go right across the board and of course a lot of you love our beautiful toddlers we absolutely love creating these i think out of all the dolls the dressing of these is probably one of the most fun parts of the dressing. They fit a 12 to 18 months child size clothing and you can just, it's, it, it's just endless. The shoes and the outfits, the coats, the jackets. And obviously things that um, newborn babies don't tend to or can't really wear, you can have so much fun dressing your toddlers. So this is Tatiana and she's a 28 inch. This one has the blonde rooted hair and the bluey green eyes. Look how lovely her eyes are. Aren't they beautiful? Look at her. She's really lovely, isn't she? And she is sculpted by a very famous artist called Reva Chic. I've probably known Reva, gosh, about 30 years. 
I met her in New York at the New York Toy Fair when she worked for the Lee Middleton Doll Company. I think I was about 16 years of age and those days were so magical because at the time it was really before reborn babies were even thought of and companies like Lee Middleton and Lloyd Middleton and Adora Dolls and who else was there? There was just oh just the most fabulous fabulous companies and we sold all their dolls at the time and to think how the doll has transformed and developed and become really very realistic i remember getting the um, Lee Middleton dolls um, obviously through customs and into into Britain and it was before anything like that was ever seen and they were weighted and floppy and so realistic and I think at the time it was just Harrods and ourselves that were actually selling them and we just couldn't keep up with the demand it was something that nobody had ever seen before and to think now that you know 20 years later we're back to creating our own beautiful dolls for our shops and we're just so privileged and so fortunate that we can work with something that we're just so passionate about and really we, we live and breathe dolls as a family it's an independent family business of 43 years and we've got a most amazing team behind us and they're so supportive the other day i needed a special piece making for a little girl's birthday and i said to one of my girls i messaged her and said oh gosh have you got any white hair we need a special creation for this little girl's birthday and she's like don't worry i'll sit up all weekend and i'll do it for you and i'll get the courier to pick it up and we'll get it out to the little girl for her birthday so you know when when needs be my team are absolutely just so so supportive and at the moment and things are very challenging for all businesses and you know we're trying our utmost to keep going stay positive we're still making we're still creating we're still sending out we're doing the best we can and um, even if the post and things can be a little bit slow at the moment due to the terrible terrible situation that's going on in the world and I feel that dolls and teddies they bring a lot of comfort to people and they get a lot of pleasure and I think receiving the parcel through the post opening that doll the anticipation when it arrives and the excitement when they open it and we receive so many beautiful messages and comments and photos and videos and it's just overwhelming it, it makes our day to think that you're so so happy with the the dolls and that we create and also the teddy bears and all the accessories that we sell and you know without you guys we wouldn't be here today and we wouldn't be where we are and what we are we're probably one of europe's largest doll stockists and we're so so proud um, of what we've achieved and i think it's truly through the passion that my mother mary shortle myself and now my little girl mary elena is we're just all so passionate about dolls we literally live and breathe dolls um 24 7. the the passion that runs through the three generations is just phenomenal so when i talk about the dolls i really talk about them i absolutely love them everything that we sell that we create that we have here we have for a reason i don't really buy anything for the store or create or make anything that I'm not really passionate or keen on because what would be the point of selling something to you, the customer, that doesn't really, you know, melt my heart? If it doesn't melt my heart, then it won't melt your heart. So we really hand choose and be very um, selective about what we sell and what we create. We don't choose to support or um, certainly um, not buy the cheap fake um, Chinese kits. We're very proud that we support all family businesses and family companies in Spain. All our Spanish suppliers of our play range are all just like us, amazing family companies of many generations that we've known for probably 30 years and also um, the German artists, the German sculptors, the German kit manufacturers, also 
it's very, very important that we keep that cottage industry strong. And also the people that we employ in the UK that have amazing skills, and like I say, are a big part and very supportive team, painting these beautiful creations that we're so fortunate to sell and our dressmakers, our body makers, our dummy clip makers. Literally, we have such a massive team of wonderful, wonderful people. And we hope that when this crisis is over, that you will want to come and visit our store here. This is in York, this one, and it really is special. Like I say, over the next few weeks, I'm going to be focusing on showing you more of our York store. Um, because I've been based at the Leeds one for the last 23 years. And I think it's important that, you know, I spend more time here. And this is really a, an amazing store. Um, my parents invested a lot of money two years ago in transforming the store and building on and making it it's really big. It's really impressive. Um, and I just want to develop it more really. I want to probably spend a couple of days a week here and develop it and make it, you know, so, so special. I think there's so much more collections that I can install here. We're waiting for a beautiful silicone collection to arrive at the minute. So hopefully the next video will be the new silicone that we absolutely love selling. We work with amazing European artists again to produce the most beautiful silicone dolls. I really hope you've enjoyed this video, a little insight into what we're about and some of the dolls that we sell here. And um, if there's anybody peeping out that you would love to adopt or know more about, then just message us or give us a call even and I'd love to talk to you more about the model, the price, if it's available and obviously at the minute we can get anything to you by shipping it to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. We really appreciate your support. Don't forget to tell all your friends to subscribe and click on the notification bell. And don't forget to like our Facebook page because we have amazing offers on there going on all the time. And also follow us on Instagram. We're nearly at 10,000 followers. So for an independent business, that would be a massive achievement. Please tell all your friends to follow us and let's get to that 10,000 follows. Looking forward to seeing you all in the store really, really soon. Take care everyone and stay safe.